Hey guys, um, so after like 45 minutes of screwing around trying to get this to work, I just decided that I would try reinstalling the zip plugin. And after trying the zip and directory packer, I just updated the zip object and it works for some reason. It's a bit annoying, but it works in the end, so that's all that really matters, I guess. So, let me show it when you open the frame it creates these folders you don't need them I'm gonna take that out because it's not needed but you can put the textures that you used into this side using this and then you can check that they're the correct ones with the preview and find the path that you want mine's just gonna be there under test test.zip.zip for some reason um, need to look into that, but anyway, it does indeed work, other than test.zip.zip.zip, need to check that out, see why that happens, compile, creates the zip, guess what's in there, all the stuff we need, so, this is good, this is what we need, uh, no, I'm just gonna delete the zip. Um, we do not need these directories, so I can get rid of those three. And while I was looking around, I did find out that it is like kind of a thing that uh, the what object is it? It's like uh, the file object gets hung up on things like if you're trying to create stuff and there's an error, you have to clear the error, and it's kind of odd to me, but... Got some tic tacs. Uh, anyway, yeah, compiling works. This is what we need. We need compiling to work. Um, so now that compiling works, it works good. It does a lot of good. Um, I'm gonna add a little... Uh, progress bar um, doesn't really matter okay like that 128 always set position to progress no oh well it doesn't really matter um, I'm just gonna yeah you know what no no progress bar here I'm just gonna have it set to uh, once it's compressed uh, once the zip has been closed I'm going to end the frame gonna say um, end the application because it runs in a sub application so it'll just close the extra window so I can edit compile I can add these two compile creates the zip with the stuff in it that we need and it closes the window so now I can exit and now we're going to work on installing, which is kind of an essential thing if you're going to like publish your level to like a website. Maybe you're making a level editor and you want people to be able to share it on like a forum. They would need to be able to install everybody's compiled levels. So really quickly, before we start, I'm just going to uh, create an active picture with no image, picture resize to fast, 8 by 8 and I'm just gonna replace this one, replace by another object, active picture, yes, just so that, oh, not that, so that it's 
blank and it's not this weird green. So, um, now that it's compressed and it's exported, I can actually delete this. Uh, why did it do that? Yes, that's what it should do. Why? It doesn't. Oh, right, because it stays hung up on the stupid um, file folder is good for this because it's just deleting a file. It's not creating folders or anything weird. Um, So I'm going to change this over to commands uh, or hard drive delete a file that because it's not going to be creating any folder so it doesn't need to have things that have like odd names and such. So an application delete level yes good. So now I'm going to be wanting to install a level since I just deleted mine and I want to be able to work on my compiled one again. Um, so I'm going to create a new group, install level, I'm going to say when install level is clicked, I want a new file, just so I can get a file selector, set extension filter to zipped uh, compiled level and it's going to be dot, uh, star dot zip and I want file selector open load selector with the default path name of app dear So now I can pick this zip, but it doesn't do anything, obviously, because we haven't told it to do anything. Um, but if I say file selector on OK, then I can say if I grab a zip object, I can open that zip, which is file selector result path name and I'm going to unzip archive or uh, I'm going to uh, really quickly when the buttons clicked I want to directory actions create a folder create a directory which is app dear installing Or actually, I'm just going to do this uh, if the action is OK. So it's going to create the um, installing directory. It's going to unzip archive to the installing directory. Uh, need a second slash there. And then it's going to close the zip. And then the file folder is going to loop through the that directory, which is app dear installing zero, and then browsing loop on 
item insert compared to general values get browsed path I'm going to get the extension so name extension the extension is dot arr that means it's a level so we're going to copy it to um, the levels folder so it's going to be app beer uh, absolute form tag source files uh, installing plus actually I can just be yeah current browse path uh, and then app dear uh, levels plus uh, file title right plus extension name and then do not copy if destination file exists that is off so that it will like replace it if it's a newer version um, so in theory this should if I run this install level uh, install test it'll create the installing folder which does have all three things in it and then levels should have test in it which is the correct thing I'm actually surprised that that worked um, next is we just need to add dot png and change that to tiles and that should be good and lastly we need to um, delete folder and delete a folder and subfolders which is after plus installing save so now if we run uh, I will delete that again and then install I'll install test installed and you didn't even see the install folder um, I get rid of it and yeah you can't even see it, it goes so fast so you can now install a level the grids and collisions all work compiling works this dot zip thing is the only thing I have to work on figure out how to make it not constantly dot zip I know what I can do actually browse for path uh, this will be actually it'll be better Set text to uh, how should I do this? Um, so I just want to get it without the path name or without the extension. What am I saying? Uh, I mean, I guess this will have to do, but yeah. like the extra dot zip at the end.
I can do this, um, which will probably like just barely work, but I can always just do write for. simple um, let's see I'm only 15 minutes into the video so I'll continue um, so let's see what's on our list right now we have install levels done delete levels install a uh, new edit level they're all done except for play level this is the whole point of having a level editor so people can play the level um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a new frame and I'm going to do two videos. Actually, I'm going to cut off the video now because I want to do two separate videos for playing the level. I want to do one video for if it's a top-down game, which is this. And I'm going to do another video for if it's a side-scrolling game. You can, Because uh, maybe you want to do like a side-scroller platformer level editor compared to like a top-down level editor. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. And heck, hang on a sec. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. My screen had something on it. Um, I'm going to end the video now, and next video I'm going to show how to play a level for a top down game, and the video after that is I'm going to show how to play a level for a side scrolling game. So, I will see you next time.